Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to check in with Ferris State Sacker, joined by head coach Greg Henson. And coach, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Now, before we get into this past weekend, uh, two matches at home, uh, obviously this past week, uh, ranked number nine in the country. And I know uh, that ranking, uh, we, we talked about it in the past, but certainly means a, a great deal for the program. Yeah, it just gives us, uh, you know, our players some recognition for their hard work they put in uh, day in and day out on the field. And, and so it's great for them to, to receive that, uh, that, that recognition. But, you know, as we talk about it, and as coaches always tell you, you know, rankings don't really matter. They don't really figure into our, our long-term goals. Um, so we have, uh, you know, results to get on the field. And, and hopefully, uh, you know, down the road, we'll, we'll, we'll reap the benefit to that. Obviously, that ranking highest in school history uh, kind of puts a target on your backs as well and uh, certainly got the best out of the two opponents we saw this past weekend. Yeah, it definitely does. I mean, it just gives them a little bit more added motivation to come in and knock off, you know, a, a top 10 team and and uh, to really kind of show that where they're at and kind of gives them a statement type of game. So, you know, being in the rankings all year is really, you know, I think every opponent that comes in that we play, whether here or on the road, you know, we're going to get their best and we're going to get their A game every single time we go out, out to play. And, and that just makes it a bigger challenge for us. So that's kind of the, uh, the, the pitfall or the penalty, I guess, if you will, of, uh, of re receiving those rankings. As we go to the highlights, we'll start first with uh, Friday's game against Michigan Tech. A good opponent, and obviously you got off to a quick start as Grace Verhage will get the early goal for you. Yeah, and Izzy Zambrini did a great job of setting that goal up, and, and she's really been kind of a, a creator for us of late. And, and, uh, and Gracie, uh, you know, taking her time and, and a quality finish. Uh, on her part, got us off early, which is something that we wanted to do. We wanted to come out to the, tent, the tone and the tempo early in that match. Um, and unfortunately, we just weren't quite able to, you know, sustain it as well as we wanted. But Michigan Tech is a, is a top team in our league um, and always a very difficult defensive team to, to break down. And, and uh, so, so we were able to see out the, out the game and, and get the victory, which was nice for us. Obviously, I uh, had that one to nothing lead uh, much of the way, uh, at least throughout the rest of the first half. And Michigan Tech uh, would finally get a few more opportunities in the second half. Yeah, I mean they, they kept pushing and kept and kept going at us, and, and I thought it was a I thought it was a good game played by both teams all, all the way around, and and uh, we struggled to, to to clear the ball out of the corner, um, and they were able to uh, to put the rebound away on us. It's something that we have to do a better job of, and and Michigan Tech's one of those teams that they capitalize on their opponents' mistakes, and we have to limit the amount of mistakes and opportunities that we give with teams, um, and unfortunately we weren't able to clean that up, um, but we were able to uh, you know to to right the ship if you will, and and uh, get back on the front foot after they scored. And I thought we really probably played some of our best soccer in the moments after they scored. Um, and we were able to come back and, and get the goal to, to take the lead and eventually win the game. Obviously this game here, uh, it, it had been raining throughout the day, but uh, weather conditions uh, held up uh, here for this contest. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, I think we saw a little bit of everything on, on Friday and, and, uh, and there's the goal that we conceded. Um, you know, we saw a little bit of everything, but by the time we got the kickoff, you know, the sun was out and, and blue skies and, and, it, and it turned out to be a great day. So. Uh, the field held up great, so, so hats off to our ground crew that continue to do a great job in, in getting our game field uh, put together. Um, the field held up great all weekend, um, and then it's good for us in this long homestand. Obviously, they got the goal to tie it, and then here uh, you're going to get the goal to eventually win it. Uh, Emily Mergener getting the goal uh, here on the putback. Yeah, I think it's something we talked about with, with the team after, after the game is, you know, in those sequences where we kept the ball and, and kept possession and knocked it and, and, and passed it around them and made them chase a bit was when we were most dangerous. And that's something that we have to continue to build on and, and do more of. I think there's probably five or six, eight passes in that sequence and, and uh, get Gracie in behind and, and one we want the goalkeeper and, and real heads up play and, and veteran play by her to, to lay that ball off to Emily. Um, rather than trying to go to goal herself and, and merge, put it in the empty net, and, and that was what, uh, what what took us to the win. Got the win 2-1, to one, and then you had to come back on Sunday against Saginaw Valley State, another good opponent uh, right near the top of the conference standings. Yeah, it's a big rivalry for us uh, in, in women's soccer with Saginaw, and, and every game that we play against them is always tough, and, and Sundays are always toughest games of the weekend. You know, coming off of a, a hard-fought game on Friday, and just two days, uh, you know, two days later, got to go out and play a very good Saginaw team. So um, we knew it was going to be a challenge, and it was. Um, you know, and I think unfortunately for us, we, we came out a little sluggish in the first half and, and weren't really playing our best uh, in the early parts of the game. Um, you know, and I think it was really kind of a tale of a two halves, if you will, um, or a half and, and two overtimes uh, as, as it played out, um, where we really kind of got on the front foot in the second half and, and the two overtimes, we just weren't able to find the, the goal to win the game. You mentioned that uh, they had a 6-4 edge, the total shots here in the first half, but uh, you turned it around and eventually uh, won the shots battle 22-8, which you had some uh, opportunities to, to score some goals here in this one. 
we had some opportunities. We just didn't create enough quality chances. You know, we didn't test our goalkeeper enough um, when we got uh, when we got going forward. And, and you know, again, Saginaw is a, a well-coached team, and, and uh, they play a system uh, that, that makes it a little bit difficult for opponents to break them down and get in behind. Um, and so we weren't able to, you know, really challenge their goalkeeper well enough in those segments. Um, you know, we had they had the clear one off the goal line, and we had a couple other good chances, and our keeper made a couple really nice saves later in the game. Um, we just didn't quite, we just didn't quite, you know, have enough quality chances to really uh, put the game away. Um, and unfortunately, that, that's why we ended up with the result we did. Obviously, on the defensive side, really limited uh, some of their opportunities as, as well with that veteran experience on your back end. Yeah, it's key for us. I mean, they've been there, done that. You know, I mean, that we got we got. Uh, you know, four, I think, in our back five, four fifth-year seniors, so, and, and a true senior back there. So they've they've seen it all. They've been through it. They, they kind of know what to do, and they were able to protect and, and kind of help guide and mentor our freshman goalkeeper, um, you know, and Daria. And, and she's she's stepping up well, and she's done well all season, and she's really maturing and growing into the role and into the position. And, uh, you know, from a defensive standpoint, we did really well yesterday. Um, we just got to find ways to score goals and, and put games away and put teams away. Um, when we have the opportunity, but we're in that really that uh, that tough stretch of games right now uh, in the conference, um, you know, and there's no real easy game in this conference, no matter what the records say. Um, and Saginaw is going to figure into the the, the championship, uh, you know, decisions at the end of the year. Obviously, zero zero double overtime, and now you get ready to remain at home. Uh, two more big matches uh, in Gleak play this coming weekend against Northern Michigan and Parkside. Yeah, and Northern's another really tough one. So I mean, they're kind of middle of the table right now. Um, but they've got uh, a couple players, one in particular, I think that, that last year was the Offensive Player of the Year in the league and, and a real dangerous player for them in the middle of the park that we're going to have to deal with and, uh, and, uh, and, and, and kind of try and silence her a little bit. Um, they're coming off of a big weekend. They just scored 12 goals or uh, something like that over the weekend. Um, so they're coming in feeling good about themselves, and, and we got to expect, again, uh, you know, the, our opponent's best, best play. So we... Uh, We'll hopefully be ready to go. We'll take a couple days here to get ourselves, get our legs back underneath us after uh, you know 200 minutes of soccer over the weekend. Again, it's the second weekend in a row we've done that, so um, you know we're a little worn down, but we got to recover and, and come back. And then and then after Northern Michigan on on uh, Friday, uh, Sunday against Parkside will be our senior day and, and parents weekend, and and we'll welcome all the families in and and, uh, and celebrate our senior class, um, which has had a tremendous tr tremendous career for us, and, and we're really excited to celebrate them on Sunday. Well, Coach, congratulations on uh, what's been a great start so far. Best of luck this weekend as you continue a five-match homestand coming up on Friday and Sunday. Thank you very much. That'll do it for Ferris Sports Update. A reminder, you can follow all the action, get all the results online at ferrisstatebulldogs.com. Have a great week.